<laughs> um, so guys, first thing we want everybody to know is that it, this ridge is really safety first. We put a lot of time in building anchors, setting the ropes, getting things rigged up, and we want you guys to be thinking when you get to that point of the race, safety first. And not just your safety, but safety of the people around you too. We do have a lot of sections you can see right here with a lot of loose rock. Um, so you want to be heads up about what you're doing. Don't just go scratching and pawing at things and kicking rocks down on the people below you. Um, once you crest and reach the top, uh, there's no more fixed ropes going down the backside. The backside is a pretty easy ridge. Is it skiable now? You're going to ski down it. It's not good. <laughs> That's all I can say. You might choose to go back it. Um, that's to come in your Jumar into the knot at the anchor. If you jam it up there hard, you're not going to be able to release it and get it off, and you're going to burn some time there. So be heads up about that. Stop a good six inches before you get to that knot. Move your safety gates around, then move your Jumar around up to the high side. resort for our home event. Um, it's typically the Crested Butte ran in a rally, but this year they uh, made it the North American um, Ski Mountaineering Championships. Um, the Saturday event, the short course, um, was a race of just over five minutes for the men and I think just over six minutes for the women. Um, so it was real fast and furious. Very cold. Um, it was, you had to battle, you know, having cold hands dealing with issues with the glue skin, glue from the skin side. Yeah. For myself, it was uh, kind of a lackluster day. Had issues with my skins, couldn't get my boots unbuckled, um, but managed to hang in there for 11th. So I was pretty excited about that. John is, was ahead of me by a second in 10th place, and um, Yari was, um, I think Yari was inside the top 10 too. Um, but uh, she had some issues with her skins as well. So I was hoping uh, to have a great race on Sunday, and it started out really well. Um, we climbed the, uh, the switchbacks up to the guide ridge. Um, I was sitting in fifth place, right inside the top five. They had Italians and Canadians, so there was definitely an international flavor to the event. The Italians got away before we even got to the rope section on the guide ridge, um, and they pretty much that sealed they sealed the deal. Uh, you know, once they started climbing, um, I had some major issues trying to use my ascender, using the carabiners. Um, it's a lot of equipment that I'm not used to using. Um, we typically don't use that kind of stuff in, uh, in the races that we do, the cosmic races. Um, but very European style. By the time I topped out, um, the Italians had already made a lap around the top of the mountain. Um, John Brown had a great race. Uh, I think he finished 10th for the day. Um, and then uh, ended up finishing 9th overall for the two days. I was uh, 11th for the day and finished 11th overall for the two days. So. You know, not not quite as good as I wanted. I was I was hoping for a top five for the weekend. You know, and based on my um, experience I've had with my results in Irwin and my results at Sunlight, I was expecting a little better result. But you know, given that it was a new format, and especially using ropes and carabiners and ascenders that I'm not really too familiar with, um, you know, I was happy to to get through unscathed and, uh, and just chalk it up as good training. About I think a 400 foot section where we had. Uh, yeah, fixed rope, and we had harnesses on. We had a Via Ferrata, we had an ascender, and climbed up um, to the summit. And uh, for me personally, definitely a highlight, but uh, I'm not a climber, and so all this gear around my waist and in my hands was kind of uh, slowing me down a little bit. But the experience of being up there was, was stellar. Got up to the top, didn't get lapped by any more Italians, which is good, and uh, ripped the skins. And at that time, I think I was in ninth place. Um, or maybe even 10th place and uh, had a pretty good descent but I was uh, I was a little timid and sure enough um, Travis Schieffer who's uh, an amazing downhill skier um, I think the second pitch before the finish just came ripping by me straight line in it and uh, I just couldn't couldn't hang I think, with uh, I think I ended up 11th in the, um, in the long race uh, which I was definitely happy with for sure
not uh, that cold this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> like what? what? Oh, yeah, put, like, put that.